Changing the filter. Get a new one out of the packet. This is actually a new one already. Pop it in there. Stick that on and then tighten it up with that. And you screw that in the pool. It's just under the light. There is something to screw this onto. There it is. It's much easier to do with two hands. Right, there you go, that's on now. Water, just below the maximum there is fine. That's the filter, there's your LED light. Press and hold it to operate and press and hold to switch off. To operate this, you need to press and hold the key safe I've just activated it or press and hold to take the lock off. That one is, it means it's heating. If it goes green, it means you've achieved the desired temperature, which in this case is 40. That's your desired temperature. This one means that the filter's on. So these should be on at all times. To operate the bubbles, Only 19 now because it's cold water, but that will heat up overnight. Chemicals, grab one of these and do your chemical check. We have chlorine, anti-foam, pH plus and minus. Let's go and do the chlorine check. Take one of these out first, and then put the lid on because it's really sensitive to water. Now pop it in the pool. that to this. First one is chlorine, not enough chlorine. Second one is orange, that looks fine. And the next one is green, that also looks fine. So we need to add some chlorine. Right, do one teaspoon of chlorine each day is about right. Obviously you need two hands for this, don't drop it all over the floor like I just did. And then chuck it in the pool and put the bubbles on, let it all mix in. a teaspoon of chlorine every day be careful not to knock this over or any of the chemicals the pH if it gets too high add some pH minus perhaps a teaspoon every other day if it gets too green here or too bluey green also add some pH minus because that brings it down as well the main one is the chlorine each day should be around that color or that color you can also add this just a little splash of this. If it gets too soapy and foamy in there, just add a little splash of that and that'll get rid of that. When you take the roof off, put it somewhere clean because obviously you don't want all the dirt from the garden going back in the pool later on. Put together here. Just plug the lights on. Get the plug which is tucked away here from the rain and plug it in over here. Afterwards, unplug it. You need to put this one away because, because of the way the plug sticks out, it, they'll all get wet. So you put that one away after and you just hang it up over here, out of the rain. The other plug stays in all the time because this has to be on all the time. If the water goes below the minimum line, just top it up. If you end up putting too much water in, 
This is how you drain it. Click the hose on here and unplug the plug inside. There's two attachments here, one for the hose and this is the one that I'll leave on. I'll keep that one in there and the hose is there. The force of the water keeps closing the plug. What you do is you get this 